Well, a St. John's man has taken the term staycation to a whole other level. Yeah, what started out as a simple road trip in a 30-year-old RV eventually turned into an 84-day journey right across the province. Yes, and as here and now's Jeremy Eaton explains, Brian Lynch finally got to see all the places he had only come across on a map. The aging RV fires up the first try. When it rolled off the assembly line three decades ago, Brian Lynch's more than 30-year career working for CN Rail was rolling to a halt. As the freight manager, he quickly learned the names of most communities in Newfoundland and Labrador. If you go back in time, back to the 50s, uh, CN was the only game in town. And consequently, you got packages being shipped all over Newfoundland to every community, and you had to know where they were. I stared at my log day one. Lynch had no trouble finding places on a map. He had just never been to most of them. As border restrictions clamped down on travel this spring, Lynch bought himself this old Ford and just drove away. Didn't even say goodbye to my brother Jim and his wife Wanda when I left because I didn't really know if I was going to uh, handle this for two days, a week or whatever because I took my cat Edie with me and I didn't know whether she was going to get sick or the camper was going to break down. As the motor home chugged along the TCH, Lynch hit up every community on the right-hand side of the highway and said he'd go to the rest on his return. By the time he hit Deer Lake, he knew he couldn't stop, except to see a new community. It took me 84 days. I drove 16,584 kilometers. I visited 758 communities in Newfoundland, and that's every community. I didn't pass anything. If I saw a sign to a small place that's 50 kilometers of dirt road, I was going down there. I would not pass it by. The Ford, well, it motored on. He needed to replace a few parts, some belts, and a tire, but it held up. He didn't just drive through communities, towns, and local service districts. He made sure to say hello. And that's what I've heard so much on my travels. I've always wanted to do that, people would say. I've always wanted to do that. Or we've done a bit of it. We, we should be doing more of it. He documented his travels on Facebook, gaining a modest following who often posted comments being a little bit jealous of Lynch's road trip as the adventure eventually moved from the island to the big land. I've done 27 communities in Labrador for a total of 785. And the only communities I didn't visit was the five up in northern Labrador because you had to live there to get on the ferry. But he says when the pandemic ends, he'll make sure to cross those off his trusty map. Lynch doesn't hesitate when asked about which of the 785 places put the biggest smile on his face. My favorite spot that I went to would be Francois, hands down. Absolutely beautiful community. Lynch kept every receipt and documented his trip in a journal by hand. In total, the whole thing cost less than $10,000. But you can't put a price on the experience he had. Jeremy Eaton, CBC News, Ocean Pond.